Hey there everybody and welcome to the channel, I'm your host Rama, and in today's video I'll be showcasing to you how to do the Kaioprico heist with the Sparrow in the Gather Intel mission. As you can see I'm currently flying my Sparrow over the islands of Kaioprico while in the Gather Intel and if you don't believe me I mean you can see me moving my camera joystick here. I'm flying it, so it's pretty dang sweet that you're actually able to do this. Now, it is a glitch, and it does require some effort to actually perform. So, I'm not going to say this is the easiest thing to do, but if you wanted to set the fastest speedrun times for this game, maybe you wanted to attempt some speedruns yourself, hopefully today's video is going to help you out, as I haven't really seen much when it comes to this topic around on YouTube. So, as I said, hopefully enjoy today's video. Let's get straight into it! The first thing you're going to want to do is go to services and spawn in your sparrow. Everybody should know how to do this. As you can see, my personal sparrow is right over here. Now, the next part, you're going to need either a CEO office or an agency for. And that is specifically for the duplication of the sparrow. Now, normally, when you hear about duplication, it's pretty challenging. But honestly, this is one of the easiest things to do in the world. All we're going to do is literally land our sparrow on the roof of our agency or your CEO building. We have duped the Sparrow. Congratulations, you've already completed the first part. Once we go back onto the roof of the building, once we're done with this loading screen, as I said, we're just going to go right to the roof of our building. Our personal Sparrow is no longer going to be there, but there is still going to be a Sparrow there, which is weird, but that's it. Now there's a Sparrow that's going to be on the roof of the building, and as you're going to take a look on the mini-map, it's not my personal Sparrow. So as you can see on the mini-map, nothing that I own is personally on the roof of this building. But if we climb up here, would you look at that, we do have a Sparrow that is on the top of the building. And to prove to you that this is a duplicated Sparrow, we can go to Services, Kosatka, and spawn in another Sparrow. And there you go. Now my personal Sparrow is down on the road behind me, and we have another Sparrow on the roof of this building. You can fly this, you can use all the, you know, Everything just like a normal Sparrow, it still has missiles, everything like that. The flares still work. It's just an additional duped Sparrow, as you can see. And then there's my personal Sparrow right here. And you can do this over and over and over again if you wanted to have a whole army of Sparrows. I'm not really sure what the uh, use of that would be, but for the glitch, this is very, very important. This next step is quite simple. If we take a look at my map and we go all the way to the farthest corner, we can see there is a bookmarked deathmatch. This deathmatch is called Perico Airstrip, and it's very simple. We're going to spawn our dinghy and then land our helicopter on it. So let's get over there, and I'll explain why we're going to do this. Now that we are at the deathmatch, we can very easily see the location we want to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Services, Kosatka, and I'm going to request a dinghy. As we can see, the dinghy is not exactly at the deathmatch spot, but it's pretty dang close. Now this part can be a bit challenging. You have to land your sparrow on the front part of the dinghy. It's not super hard, especially it's going to depend on how you are as a pilot, but uh, you want to try not to crash your sparrow because it, if it starts smoking, it can definitely hurt your results. But there you go. We have landed the sparrow. Oh, no, no, we haven't. Let's uh, fly it back a little bit. Oh, oh, I think we got it. Nope, there we go. I think I got it. All right, there, we got it. We're all good. The Sparrow is on the dinghy. So at this point, we are going to leave. That's pretty easy to do this. You just want to go to a different death match, which we can do. So uh, how about we go to this death match here? Boom, start job. And then we're just going to leave the job in a moment. There you go. As we can see, I've spawned on the docks. I've called in my Sparrow, which is right behind me. And by the way, don't be worried about calling in your Sparrow. Because of the fact that we use the duplication glitch, the Sparrow over at the dinghy is not the same one. It is a duped Sparrow. It's not going to despawn if you use your personal one. So go into your interaction menu, call in your personal Sparrow, and then call your Kosatka in as well. As we can see, my Kosatka is a little bit offshore, but it is still over here. So at this point, all we're going to do is we're going to go into the Kosatka and start gather intel. It is really just that simple. It does take a couple attempts to get this right, but once you do it, it should be pretty clear cut, easy and done. At this point, we're going to start the gather intel mission and we're going to make our way over to Cayo Perico, where if we've done everything correctly, the Sparrow should spawn directly inside Cayo Perico. So let's start up our CEO, a boom, and let's start up the heist. So I'm going to go make my way to Cayo Perico really quickly. Let's see if this works. And here we are at Cayo Perico. If I've done everything correctly for today's video, 
there you have it, the Sparrow is spawned right in front of us. Now, the Sparrow is slightly damaged as you can see, but it is a fully flying Sparrow. As you'll notice, we can fly all throughout Kaioprico. So now, all you'd have to do when you start up this mission is instead of making your way around all of these guards, we're just going to fly our helicopter directly over there. And as I said, even though the helicopter is slightly smoking, doesn't really matter all too much. We're just going to make our way right over to the communications tower, which is just going to take a little bit of flying. Oh, oh, we're good. We're all good. And look at that, just like that. Now we can see that the comms tower is actually over here. Oh, how are we going to do that? All right, now, here's the big brain strat. If you do this correctly, I think the game actually does give you a parachute. So, if your comms tower does not spawn at the bottom, I wonder if it's possible you can just jump out of the helicopter. And then, yes. All right, all right, let's hope this works. And parachute. Oh, yeah. Look at the genius. Oh, wait, no, we may have messed it up. Oh, yes! And there you have it. And obviously, the guards apparently don't see my sparrow at all crashing so we made it to vault lab now we get to do some very very simple math 81 well um i'm guessing the seven goes to the 10 and then these two go here and here and just like that we have finished our gather intel now i'll also showcase a little bit of a secret on how to leave the island very fast a lot of people don't know that you can fast travel right out of Cayo Perico. so let's uh, very quickly see what the target i get is for today's heist now as i said I can't really say that this method is going to be efficient for everybody. It's a hit or miss sometimes. It might take a couple attempts for you to get it correct. But when you do get it, ooh, actually I'll take a pink diamond. That's pretty dang sweet. But as I said, it will take possibly a couple of attempts to actually get that sparrow there. But if you're going for speed running, it is an absolutely mandatory way to speed run the game. I personally am definitely going to be trying some speed run attempts in the future. I just need to learn the pathing and the fast traveling with job waypoints and stuff like that. But I have to say, it doesn't seem all too bad so far. But there you have it. So now all you want to do to very quickly leave Cayo Perico is set your spawn location to the Kosaka, go to online, find a new session, invite only, and now it's going to load us into a new session. This is fairly simple, and it's going to spawn us right inside the Kosatka. Once you actually look at what the target is, you no longer need to stay on the island, so if you're trying to do any sort of time-saving things like that, there you have it, we're already inside our Kosatka. So, uh, yeah, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'm gonna be real for a second, this is not a method for everybody. This is mainly viable for speedrunners. The amount of time you're actually gonna take to get your Sparrow over to that spot I showcased and then get everything to work, you'd probably be just better off getting your way onto the motorcycle and driving that way, especially because this isn't even 100% gonna work every time. It's occasionally gonna work probably about 70 to 80% of the time. And and some of the times your sparrow will just fall right off of the dinghy and you won't even know because it's not your personal sparrow. There is a lot of room for failure. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to speedrun and complete this heist as fast as possible, then yeah, using the sparrow can be very cool. But for the average player out there, I'd still probably stay just to stick with your normal method. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.